What's up everybody? It's another really nice day today. Not a cloud in the sky, probably almost 70 degrees. It's really nice to have that sun back. Quote of the day today. Micro hustle, macro patience. It's really stood out to me today. I've been really reflecting on that. And what that kind of means is, is that on a micro level or on a small scale level such as daily or even weekly I guess you could say is you're always hustling and you're always working as hard as you can doing what you can to grow your business or your brand but on a macro level or on the long term basis you have to have patience I was reflecting and I was thinking about myself and sometimes I get caught up thinking that patience means oh I need to be patient it's gonna take a really long time for my page to grow or for my business to take off so I'm just not really gonna do anything and I'm just gonna you know let it grow organically over time but that's not really the case that's what you see when you see Facebook pages or YouTube channels that have been posting videos for years or months and they have no growth. It's because they're not doing anything on a micro level to actually grow their business or their brand. So you have to always be hustling on a daily basis, always promoting, always doing as much as you can to grow your brand but then understanding you're not gonna make it big overnight you're not gonna have a hundred thousand Instagram followers in six months or a year from now you know if you're doing it without spending hundreds of dollars on advertising it's gonna take time with the daily hustle so something that I was doing today for my daily hustle on Instagram I've been trying to focus a lot lately on Instagram is I was using Iconosquare, which is an Instagram online service for Instagram analytics. You can analyze your growth and your posts and all sorts of things. It's $25 for a year membership, but there's a lot of really nice tools on there to kind of track engagement and things like that. And there's a tool on there called Influencer Search, where you can search for influencers based on the criteria you give. So I was looking for influencers in the United States that had roughly a thousand to five thousand followers. I didn't want to go for anyone super, super famous or huge because they're probably getting spammed with a ton of direct messages that they're not even reading or they don't even have time, nor do they care to read. So I'm targeting these smaller bloggers who have right around five thousand followers. Um, which means they probably have enough time to read their direct messages or they perhaps look at them at least. And I'm going through and I'm sending as many as I can without getting blocked by Instagram. I'm sending them a personal message telling them about the text edits that I've been doing using my app, what I talked about in the last episode. And I'm offering them uh, free edits for their Instagram account or their blog or whatever. So basically I'm sending them a little message saying, hey, love your page. If you wanna do a cool text edit, kinda like what we're doing, I'd be happy to do one for you for free. Um, Basically all I need is a photo and whatever text you want and I can make it for you and send it back to you, you know, within like 10 minutes. So I'm doing that as a way to Um, give, 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 and then ask. Instead of just spamming a bunch of accounts and saying, hey, will you please 
share our Instagram account or will you please share our page with your followers? They're not gonna even listen to you. So I'm giving them, I'm trying to give them some value, um, my skills in Photoshop and video and photo editing, I'm trying to provide them with a service for free and then in exchange in the future, I will ask them, you know, hey, could you just maybe give us a little shout out in your description or something? And they're gonna be a lot, lot, lot more willing to help us out, you know, if I'm if I'm giving them something of value instead of just randomly messaging them and, and praying that they'll like our page and praying that they'll say something about us to their followers because that's not gonna happen. But so many people do that. So Instagram is only letting me send a few messages, you know, at a time and then it kind of blocks me. So you kind of got to spread it out, do as many as you can. I'll see how many I can get done today. I've done probably 25 so far, but I'm going to see if I can do that. I'm also offering that same service with some video edits to the Facebook pages that I follow. And I actually got a response from my aging is not a disease page that I follow, Maria and Steve. And they want me to make them a video, so I'm gonna work on a video for them that I'm gonna fully produce and edit that they can post on their page. And in return, that's gonna bring our page a lot of awareness. Like I said in an earlier episode, they have like over 260,000 followers of their page. And I don't know exactly what their reach is per post, how many people are viewing each one of their posts. But if I had to guess that their reach per post, depending on the time of day, was around, oh, let's say 30,000 followers, 30,000 people per post. If you were going to pay for an Instagram ad, and let, let me remind you, that their page is in our exact target audience. Their page, the people who like their page are senior adults, you know, 60 and older. So it's our exact target audience. If I were to run an Instagram ad and target that audience and try to reach 30,000 people, the amount that one of their posts would probably reach, it would cost me about $200 to run that ad. Whereas if I am making them a video for them, editing them, editing it for them, that they can post on their page that brings us awareness and they're endorsing it, that's free. That's basically my time. I mean, a couple hours of work, but that saves me about $200 that it would take in advertising to get that same result. So that's something to remember is before you're jumping in and spending hundreds of dollars on Instagram ads, I got people trying to cut me off on the freeway. Try to see what value or what service you can give to these influencers in exchange for some awareness. So if you're good at video editing or blogging or something like that, offer your service for free in exchange for maybe some a shout out or something like that. So I'll keep you updated on that, see how that goes and see what our return is on that. But I just wanted to leave those few thoughts with you guys today. Um, and I want you to reflect on that. So leave a comment, let me know what you think. Let me know what you are doing, what you are offering your influencers in exchange for awareness for your brand. I'd love to hear your ideas and see what we can come up with. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Um, thanks so much for everyone who's watching and liking the videos. I mean, we're, we're going to keep grinding, keep hustling, and see what we can do.